Hi. Today we're going to do another bell dress for you. And it's in the coffee or cafe collection. What is really exciting about this, and I'm so glad that Belle Tress did this, is that she made the coffee collection number one. Every wig in the coffee collection is heat defiant. So you can make it curly, you can make it straight, whatever you want. And if you want to know how to do that and how to take care of a heat defiant wig, go to uh, our YouTube on Patty's Pearls and you'll see all my videos and I have a bunch of how-to videos and in those how-to videos I have about three that show you how to deal with heat defiant hair okay that being said I gotta tell you about this cutie her name is Libby Lou okay I just spent two minutes telling you about coffee collection heat defiant you know da 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 well, guess what? Libby Lou is a specialty coffee and it's made with espresso and cream. And it means my heart. It's a specialty coffee called Libby Lou. Who knew? And it means my heart. So if, in you, if you're in Nolens and, and you're there, or you're in France, or if you're in Italy, ask for a Libby Lou and see what you come up with, guys. Here it is, a pixie. This particular color is called Mocha with Cream. Isn't that adorable? And then the color, as you can see, I'm going to turn it upside down. It has the mocha which is the darker coffee with a little cream and then they've added some more cream what i would say from my own heart is that it is a beautiful soft brown with highlights and streaking of this mocha cream it's really quite beautiful it's about three to six inches all the way over and the nape you can see is about three and then it goes up to six six and a half it's layered it's also razored can you see these how they go like that when they're wispy like that in a pixie that means that they've cut the layers and they've wispied with the razor for the wispy ends and all of a sudden it makes the wig look so good let me try it on this is our lib, little Libby Lou from New Orleans, and I'm going to go down there and ask for it just to see what I get. This particular color I told you was mocha with cream. Okay, here we go. And you put it on. I take it all the way to the back, find that occipital bone, and it will go right like that. See how it hugs even when I move? Walk toward free ears then you find those little temple tabs those little points and they're supposed to go like in front of your ear and then you grab them and you go one two three four pull them forward while i'm doing that i'm getting this feeling of this cupping under cupping under my my shelf of my head into that occipital bone now look and this is a little big for me, but I wouldn't do anything to it. I'd just wear it like this. Okay, now let's get the brush and let's see what we've wrought. I always lean over and I know that I'm sweeping opposite. Then I'm going to go this way. Then I'm going to hold the lice. You've already put that into your head. Now the best thing to do, if you want more volume, see how I got that volume there? What you do is you go against the grain, pick this up, and walk the wig. Remember walking the wig? You start up at the top, in, up, push up, in, push up, in, push up, push up, push up, push up. Now. You can make that sucker do anything you want if you just remember to walk. Now, I'm going to take this side. 
I'm going to turn it around like that and I'm going to go in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up, all the way to the end. Already you have a style. Just with a little walking. Who knew? Have a great day.